Hello and welcome to Movie Trailer Rankings. Today is Sunday, so we're taking a look at a classic movie trailer. And because we just had this week Bruce Willis announce his retirement from acting after his aphasia diagnosis, and because we've had a little bit of fun at his expense with some trailers earlier this year, we thought we'd give him his due and take a look at the trailer for his career-defining movie, Die Hard. And if you want to know how this trailer packaged a brand new Bruce Willis for moviegoers in the 80s, then you're in the right place. We want to know too, so we're going to analyze it, we're going to score it, we're going to rank it. Where will it end up on our leaderboards? We think it depends on these key factors, so look for them as we watch the trailer. As always, we want to know what you think. Let us know by posting in the comments below. Are you ready? Let's get started. We thank you one and all and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's Christmas Eve in L.A. But a team of terrorists. You want money? What kind of terrorists are you? Who said we were terrorists? Have their own holiday plans. And I'm telling you, you just got to kill me. Okay. We do it the hard way. But the one thing they didn't plan on was New York cop. John McLean. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Who knew? Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee-ki-yay, mother... And you'll have it! They have already killed one hostage. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Lady, do I sound like I'm ordered a pizza? Come to Papa, honey. Only if New Jersey counts. What does he think he's doing? Good job. They're using artillery on us. You appear here. It's not the police. It's him. <laughs> he's an easy guy to like. Welcome to the party, pal. And a hard man to kill. Bruce Willis. Die Hard. All right, hey, if this is the first time you have been to our channel, welcome. We are glad that you're here. If you want to learn more about how we rank movie trailers, we made a video for that. There's a link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen or in the description below. Check it out. In order to rank this trailer, first we want to cover a few of what we call critical non-factors. These are things about the movie, baggage that comes with the movie, that we don't want to let affect our score of the trailer. We're here to rank the trailer. So some of the critical non-factors for this trailer are, well, it's a, it is a Bruce Willis movie, and so if you don't like Bruce Willis movies, I'm sorry, that's kind of why we're looking at this one today, so we're going to give him a pass, but we're also, uh, we're not going to give the trailer editor credit for Bruce, but we are going to talk a lot about how they manage his involvement in the picture. Uh, also, nostalgia, this comes with a lot of our classic, classic trailers, however you remember this movie, whether you like it, whether you don't, we're going to set all those things aside, and then, yeah, we were going to save this movie for Christmas, uh, classic trailer review, but because of Bruce's announcement, we decided to up it. Now we're doing Christmas in April. So yeah, yeah, uh, the MTR official movie trailer ranking stance is that yes, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. All right, let's move on to scoring. This trailer goes above and beyond to sell not just the movie, but what was at the time very controversial casting. Why was it so controversial? And what is that music? Uh, it was controversial because before this movie, this is what everyone knew Bruce Willis. You guys can't bring the countries of the world together. Sound our differences in a civilized and orderly way. Wow! <laughs> he was a comedy actor with a flair for goofiness. His character on Moonlighting was a lot like, like an 80s version of Sean Spencer from Psych. He could hardly be taken seriously by anybody. He was just a total goofball. So when it was announced that he was going to star in an action movie in the 80s, back when action stars looked like this, the marketing team for this film had an uphill battle from day one. They were going to have to give us a brand new Bruce, and they hit it out of the park. They did that by not shying away from him here at all. They're doing a great job of featuring him, but it's him with jokes and also people who are familiar with him know, but it's not just the jokes. He's got his shirt off, he's bloody, he's trading quips with the terrorists. They put this whole package together in this trailer and it would go on to redefine Bruce's career. Every This is what we know him for now, but prior to this trailer, prior to this movie, that was not Bruce at all. 
The closest parallel that I can draw is when Marvel announced that they were casting Chris Pratt in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And at the time, everyone thought it was ridiculous. And then they showed us this in the first trailer. Anyway, that wasn't an easy trick to turn for Bruce Willis at this time in the 80s. So this team is scoring high on impact for this trailer. It's really driving the whole thing. The music is pretty rad, too, for the 80s. And this trailer has just the right amount of style and narrative uh, content in it to make it a serious contender for a summer blockbuster, which is what this movie went on to do, to, and it redefined the action genre as it did it. So overall, this trailer's uh, job of having to make a new Bruce is mission accomplished. They did a seriously good job. So overall, we're going to give the trailer for the original Die Hard a score of 8.1 out of 10. Let's see where that ranks it on our classic leaderboards. That puts it in at number four, not too bad. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more movie trailer reviews and rankings like this, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button, share. It really helps out our channel. And uh, we want to hear from you too. Let us know what you think. Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Tell us in the comments below, what's your favorite Bruce Willis movie while we're at it? Let us, let us know in the comments below too. We're going to celebrate his career as, as he retires. So thanks for watching and don't go anywhere. More movie trailer reviews are just a click away.